Hi, Karim Hamazny here. We've already seen what it means to have optimal substructure, but not all problems do have optimal substructure. In this video, we're going to go over two problems that do not have this important property that's needed in order to be eligible for a dynamic programming solution. So let's dive in. Okay, thanks for joining us. Now we're going to look at problems without optimal substructure. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video on this topic about optimal substructure, I recommend you go back and you watch that first. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to go over two problems that don't have optimal substructure, and they are the longest path problem and the maximum click problem. So let's get started on longest path. So here we have a graph with the nodes A, B, C, D, and E. So the goal of this problem is to find the longest path between two vertices without repeating an edge. So if I want to find the longest path between the vertices A, to A and C, I would travel from A to E, E to D, and then from D to C. Alternatively, if I traveled from A to B and B to C, this would not be longer than the, than the path I had just shown. So therefore, that is not the optimal solution. So now let's just quickly review what optimal substructure is. So if we had this very simple graph and we want to get from A to C, then if it's optimal from A to B and optimal from B to C, then we can assume it's optimal overall. Now, let's go back to the longest path problem. If the principle of optimality applies to this problem, then we should be able to split up the problem into optimal subparts. So, longest path A to C, we can, can we do it by doing the longest path from A to D and then adding on D to C? So if we travel from A to E and then E to D, we'd notice that this is not the longest, pro, uh, the longest path from A to D. In fact, the longest path from A D would be to travel from A to B, B to C, and then C to D. And then lastly, if we were to tack on this final step of going from D to C, it would repeat an edge, and that's not allowed in this problem. So the, the sub-solutions do not combine to form the overall optimal solution in this problem. Therefore, the longest path problem does not exhibit optimal substructure, and it is not a candidate problem for dynamic programming solutions. Now let's move on to the maximal click problem. So let's first define what a maximal click is. So the definition of a click is where vertices are all attached to each other. So in this example here, 1, 2, 3, and 4 would be a click. And 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 would also be a click. Now let's define what a maximal click is. It's a click with the most vertices in its subgraph. So in this case, if we were to look at the vertices 1 to 9, the maximal click would be the vertices 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, if the principle of optimality were to hold to this problem, then we should be able to split the problem up into two subparts. So let's say that we split the vertices up from vertices 1 to 7 and the set from 8 to 9. Would the maximal click still be 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9? It wouldn't. In fact, the clicks in this case well, we'd first look for the clicks from 1 to 7, and we'd find that the clicks would be 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then another subset, which is 5, 6, and 7, and then we'd tack on the subset 8 and 9. In this case, the one with the most vertices is the maximal click 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is not the same solution as the overall problem, so we can't break up the vertices into separate subsets. So for this reason, we, this problem does not exhibit optimal substructure, and this problem is no longer a candidate for dynamic programming solutions. Thank you for watching. Go to csbreakdown.com for more, subscribe to our videos, and like this. Bye.